from the Newsmax studio in New York City, here is Steve Malzberg. All right, folks, uh, don't mess with Texas. Uh, my son actually has a T-shirt that I, I bought him when I was in Dallas uh, not too long ago. Uh, anyway, joining us right now is a legendary Dallas area talk show host. You also know him nationally as well, Mark Davis, who has a, a great new book, Lone Star America, How Texas Can Save Our Country. I love the name of the book, and great to see Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming in. All right, uh, let, let's start with, uh, before we get to the book and, and, and talk about that, what a great example Texas could be for the rest of the world rest of the country economically and, and otherwise um, th this whole border thing I, I know you know schools in Dallas uh, last I had heard were going to be used to house some of the children who came over um, th the mantra now from the left is if you talk about the threat of crime the threat of health and disease oh they said that about the Jews they said that about the Irish they said that but th these are very real problems of course they are and, and, and this is the tactic of the left because in my own show in the Dallas Fort Worth area uh, here we are we're about, case guy. we're about to receive exactly right we are about to receive a couple of thousand visitors soon to be permanent yes, residents please course. we all know what, what the game is that's being played and to oppose them to stand up for strong borders to stand up for strong immigration laws is to and I'm catching this from all sides not all sides catching it from the left is well you must hate children how in the world can you not hate children and then they say this is not what America is about as if to ignore our laws and our borders that is what America is about and yet to obey those borders even if it means some hard decisions uh, to me what America is about is having borders that mean something laws that you obey here they come so sure let us care for them clean them off, feed them, uh, give them the best 72 hours of their lives perhaps, and then send them Absolutely. lovingly with every prayer for a better fate in their own country back to the country from which and, they came. Uh, but to have that view is to be a xenophobe and a bigot, yeah. and that's the way the, the battle of language is played. But the majority of Americans feel the way you do and the way I do, and uh, as it is on most Not issues. Not just conservative. Right, as it is on most issues. occasional Democrat yeah, will ab say ab Absolutely. Clearly. So, uh, you know, by, and by their logic, we should have every Palestinian child a, a, in Gaza and any Anywhere uh, where there's uh, you know anything going on, hunger, slavery, yeah. whatever, if just the, bring them if over. The, if the suffering of children is the guide, if, if alleviating the suffering of children anywhere right. is the guiding force, I can find places that are far worse off than Guatemala Absolutely. and Honduras. That we shall we rescue all of them? I wish I could wave a wand and do so. I wish I could, but we can't. Okay. Texas. Yes. Uh, I love Governor Perry. I love uh, when he goes around the country, comes especially to my state, New Jersey, and here in New York. Steal your and businesses. Tries to steal the business. <laughs> exactly I mean, I know right. it's not good for me in the long run, but I kind of <laughs> like it. Um, Texas is a great example, as you point out in, in the book, uh, A Lone Star America, um, on so many levels. Let's start with the economy. Of course, no, no income tax, no, uh, th but they're not alone in no income tax, no, yet they're, they're thriving. What, what are the other reasons that they're doing so uh, well? It, it involves a number of things. Just general conservative governance that keeps uh, limited, uh, strong but limited government. It keeps a lot of decision making local. In Texas, we don't like Washington to do much. Uh, we like to, the state to do things, and even in Austin, our state capital, we don't like them to do more than they should. We have independent school districts where your school board is down the street from your house. Uh, and this taste for localization of government, personal responsibility, uh, the, the freedom to fail as well as the freedom to succeed. We're not a bailout culture. We never have been during our history. Uh, obedience to the Constitution, the Second Amendment, and, and, the, and the rest as well. It is a culture and a, a taste on the part of voters that has given us now 20 years of delicious one-party rule. We've been a solid red state since 1994. There are those who are trying to change well, it. Well, I was going to bring yeah, that the, up. The yeah. battle Around yeah. Texas people, yeah. Wendy Davis is not going to beat Greg Abbott. Right, right. But after the election of Obama, twice, I'm through predicting what the electorate will do anywhere. So we have to stay on our game and make sure that the laboratory that Texas has been for conservative governance remains a clear example of the success of those policies. And that's what I hope to do. In well, the and and the left was going. Uh, they they thought in Wendy Davis they they really had something uh, because of course her filibuster uh, was good and Ted Cruz's filibuster was oh, evil. Exactly. You know, right. and it was. They were in not that far away from each other Absolutely either. Right. Uh, but when, but Wendy Davis, like I mean, she, she, you know, with her biography problem and other problems and other issues and the mocking, not a, by her specifically, of, of, of uh, uh, Attorney General uh, Abbott, um, she's, she's way, way behind. And I think most people have conceded that that's not, just not going to happen. Well, it's not. She was an abortion rights rock star for about five minutes. And the left said, oh my gosh, here is someone who is enormously popular. Here is someone who has garnered attention through that filibuster. Hollywood is pouring money into her campaign. But now that that 
has kind of faded. She is now just, uh, and I don't, she's a woman of some accomplishment. I don't want to speak ill of her. Uh, she is just the latest Democrat to try to become governor of Texas, and the same fate awaits her as has happened the and, last few times. And, and you mentioned guns, and, and it's very important because uh, there's, you know, more, I, I don't know what the percentage is, but Texas is one of those states uh, where in most places you have a right to carry if you meet the requirements. Uh, and of course here, the Chuck Schumers of the world mm. and the, the liberals uh, up here in, uh, in, uh, in the Northeast will tell you that, oh, you know, what are you going to uh, have, shoot them out over a parking spot and kill each other in a bar and shoot, but that, it doesn't it happen. Doesn't in fact, happen. more guns, to quote John Lott, more, more guns, guns, less, less crime. crime. A great book, great book yeah. title, and he made that point. And, and this was exactly the fear-mongering that Texas liberals brought when we were talking about conceal and carry, because we do have liberals in Texas, we just don't let them <laughs> run the place. And, uh, and, and they said, oh, it's going to be wild west, there'll be piles of dead bodies in the streets. No, no, guns don't kill people. Gun-free zones kill people people, Steve. And so uh, th this is this is a, a cultural war that we're fighting, a Second Amendment battle that we're fighting, even in our own state, because there are a lot of folks who are, who are going to push back as the country is pushed back. But uh, the right to bear arms means the right to bear arms, period. And Texas is an example of uh, the majority of the country where they control, uh, Republicans control the, the, uh, the state house. Uh, and uh, yet we hear Republicans are in trouble. If they don't pass immigration reform, they're never going to win another election. And of course, I guess what they're talking about is the presidential election, mm -hmm. because we're doing fine in, in the state-by-state state count. Yes. Yes. And, and I mean, look, look at the popularity of Ted Cruz. Look at the Tea Party flavor of the elections we just had, uh, the, the primaries on the way to the gubernatorial level. Greg Abbott and Dan Patrick and, and Ken Paxton, our soon-to-be attorney general. These are grassroots Tea Party flavored candidates. The notion that the Tea Party is struggling or is somehow in its last throes is crazy. It's not going to have the same kind of impact and popularity in every state. But in Texas, all Tea Party means, all the whole Tea Party label means, is steadfast, unapologetic conservatism. That's all. I wonder if we really even need the label anymore. It's probably helpful, but it is steadfast, unapologetic, constitutional fidelity. That's all it means. It is popular in Texas. It's working great for us, right. and it could work, uh, and it could work great. And I'd be anyway. remiss if I didn't ask you uh, in the last minute. We have uh, Governor Perry. Presidential aspirations. Well, yeah, I, do you, I, does he I, have I a better shot this I, time? I, he has a much better shot this time because he will. He'll be. He'll be more ready. He'll be more seasoned. He'll remember all three agencies that he's going to get rid that of. Was, uh, energy. Yeah. We're screaming yeah. at the TV. Yeah. It's energy. Anybody defining him by the so-called "oops" moment is crazy. All he did is come back after that and have put down three more years of stewarding Texas through an incredibly tough time for the country, helping us survive and thrive. Listen, I love Cruz. I love Scott Walker in Wisconsin. But but Rick Perry. If Ted Cruz is the Constitution's professor. Uh, Rick Perry is its cheerleader, and there's value for both, and we'll see what happens. Congratulations on the you, book. Sir, thank thank you, you for coming. Really appreciate it. Mark appreciate Davis, it. Uh, check him out at K-Sky if you're in the Dallas area. And we'll be back with uh, more. The book, by the way, Lone Star America, How Texas Can Save Our Country. More of the show right after this.